The baby bump is just starting to show on Pilates instructor Genia Brew. At 35 years old, she's in the high-risk category for pregnancy problems, but the results of a new prenatal test has her breathing easier about her baby. They came um, actually here to the studio, they drew my blood, and we got the results back within seven days. Everything was fine, I'm low risk for everything. Tests like this ultrasound are common today, but the Abrus opted for a relatively new screening method called non-invasive prenatal testing, or NIPT. It's a blood test from the mother, but it looks at cells from the pregnancy, whereas the, the serum screen looks at the, the markers throughout the mother's blood. The big appeal is that it can be done at just 9 or 10 weeks into pregnancy instead of 16, and studies show it is 99% accurate in predicting Down syndrome. It's not the only test Dr. Heckman recommends to her clients. A genetic test of both parents can be a good tool long before the woman becomes pregnant. Potentially, it could keep you from getting pregnant, and you might go a different route. Or if you have the information, it'll help you prepare better for delivery and pregnancy. Before getting pregnant, Jeannie took a genetic test and learned she inherited a harmful gene mutation that gives her an 80% chance of developing breast cancer and a 60% chance of getting ovarian cancer by the age of 50. And knowing that is why Jeannie and Roger decided not to wait any longer. I'm excited about being a mom. I'm excited about Roger being able to be a father. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.